Hey guys, it's Carrie here, and I'm back with another video. This time it's an old sketchbook tour. Specifically for this sketchbook, I actually have a mountainous of other sketchbook as well, but I wanted to start with this one since this one is like special to me. This one was like my very first like fancy sketchbook. It's a moleskin, um, as you guys can see like right there. And it took me five years to complete. That's because I'm primarily a digital artist and I hop from sketchbook a lot, but this one was the one where I did a lot of really cool work and I believe the first drawing on this is dated let me turn this around is dated 2017 and the final drawing on this I'm sorry I give my sketchbook to my little brother so that explains the scribbles on the back the last drawing I did on it was in May 2021. So yeah, we're going to go through five years of work. That's why I believe that this sketchbook would be a good start to. So let's get right into it. I just got these stickers from like random like places and stuff. This I believe this was when I was in robotics in high school. So yeah, this sketchbook 2017. I'm a 2000s baby. I was 17 years old. So this spans from when I was 17 to 21. So the very first drawing I did on this is this sketch. Um, I saw a reference on Instagram that I wanted to draw. Sadly, I don't have the date on this one. And then the other one, uh, I hope like <laughs> you guys are able to see this. I sketched like super light. Maybe if I lower down the brightness now. I'll just leave it. Let me just go in close up. It's my first time doing like a video like this. But yeah, uh, I don't really remember the concepts behind this one, but I find a lot of my inspiration on Pinterest and Instagram and following photography pages. So that one is dated 2 2017, so February 22 for international folks. And then the next sketch is this. Most of my like drawings are like random girls i love drawing eyes as you guys can see the eyes was like the main focus and then i decided to add a face after so yeah the reason i was like so excited about like moleskin sketchbook because they were the thing back then so the paper was able to handle a lot so i have a couple of like watercolor and marker pieces as a sneak peek and some more sketches i drew chopper and then another eye sadly i don't have these dated so i just want I don't know when I drew these, but I'm assuming it's around the same time frame, like February 2017. And then I did this watercolor piece. Um, again, just a random girl. I did this sketch in pen and then I colored it with like watercolors. So this one was March of 20, March 3rd, 2017. Um, it was, I put rose quartz. I so saw, I'm guessing that I was inspired by Steven Universe. I really like how I did like the, the shading of the face in this one. And a watercolor just always feels really nice on paper. I hear that. And I had some like studies so more eyes i love drawing eyes i was trying to practice like drawing bodies and stuff this looks a little bit stiff um i could definitely redraw and do something better i really am terrible with feet so don't judge me on that and i was trying to practice some hands uh hands are so hard look at this ah oh, they cringe but that's what sketchbooks are for to practice and let me see am i missing any page no i'm not uh, before we get to this drawing, let's look at these sketches right here. I believe that I did a digital version of this on my Instagram, so that one was nice. And this is just a random- I think this one I was trying to draw Melanie Martinez. Her like playbook album came out. I forgot the name of the album, but um, this one is Melanie Martinez. This is just like a random girl. I just like drawing pretty girls for the most part. This drawing was of Rei Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion. I finished it around this time in like 2017 and I really enjoyed it. I love Rei's character design. So I put something like disguising, I don't know if you guys could see, disguising um, pain. Um, if you guys know her backstory in the show, no spoilers for people who haven't seen it. So I think I, I really love how this came out. I'm not sure what type of watercolor brand that I use, but I definitely want to redo this digitally. I love the concept that I did there. I think I got inspired by a cosplayer on Instagram that did something similar. So 
um yeah i don't remember who they are but i just remember i'm i'm always inspired by cosplayers and i did this piece and this was like my first like widespread like design and i'm not i forget what my inspiration was from i think i was just kind of like doodling and like having fun because i i believe that i started this out as a pen sketch and then i went over with like my nice multi-liners and then we have another just random girl uh that's just like my style they, they, I, they're like not anyone specific i just just like drunk like girls for the most part i think mo majority of other artists can agree and um this i did this drawing of fiona and marcia lee that was before the new show came out so uh, uh when it was like airing like the original adventure time i really enjoyed it i really thought that marcia lee and fiona so I, I made this drawing shipping them together actually ended up like turning it into a print on my online store um i sold like i have it in a big print but i need to like redraw this because this ship is the accurate this ship is not accurate and now onto this page. On this page, I believe that I was drawing the girl from The Walking Dead. I really like how this turned out. I think back then my style was still was a bit more semi-realistic. Like the eyes look like I, I love the way that I did that. Um, I sometimes make it more cartoony. This is also just another random girl. I just redrawing just random girls. I think I really like how this one came out. I'm sad that I didn't date it though. And now onto this page. Um, again, I love drawing eyes. You can tell that was the main thing I started, and then I just added the face after. Um, another like random sketch. A lot of unfinished sketch. I think this one I was trying to do a one piece fan art, so I just never finished it. And then we have all these like little sketches like over here we have i think that was like when i got pokemon sword i was really happy so that's pikachu right there another random like sketch oh and then this one i'm really proud of how the anatomy came out on the body of this and the flow and then this I kind of want to go back and like color some of these because I know I colored some of these digitally like I would take pictures of my sketches but yeah and then like this page some more like studying this walking study um I could have done like the face better like right here another one oh look at the hands <laughs> oh man and this is a, like a quote is I think I was doing like my graphic design classes then in high school because I went to like a like a college that was also a high school so I got like two degrees when I graduated uh, but the difference between you and your goals is the hard work in between um I like that quote that's 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 pretty nice And then we got some emotional art here. Uh, I got a, a, a lot of my references are from Pinterest. And I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like a little dog pulling a heart. I thought that was like a cool concept, but it was hard for me to like execute it. Then I did Snoopy. Then I did like a sketch of a real heart. Then I put like a quote. <laughs> this was like uh, dated. Oh man, I don't have the, I know this was 2017. Um, a heart's a heavy burden at times. I was, uh, high school was not fun. So I drew this and then I thought this was cute. It's like a little, little dog pulling the heart. And then like this one, I drew like this random cute face. This drawing, I, I believe that like I recorded like a TikTok of me coloring this. I really did like this one. I just be having quotes in my sketchbook. We're a generation of smartphones and dumb people. I did this piece that I actually colored like several years later. I remember I started like I, I inked and like sketched this in 2017. Um, I was just trying out a new watercolor. I love how I did like the hair and stuff. So yeah, I used to ink a lot more back in the days. I, I like inking traditionally more than digitally. And some more sketches. Let me like get that in focus i like these concepts 
it's hard for me to draw like characters with like face mask on i don't know if it's like very obvious or not and again just like random people because i love doing photo studies and some more sketches I don't really remember my inspirations for these, but like it's really nice looking back again several years because I used to be like really embarrassed about some of these stuff. I really like how I did this one, the anatomy wise, and then this is like the text I did for it. Um, I don't remember the inspiration from this one, but I really enjoyed it. Again, more eyes. <laughs> Here's another spread. I really like how I did this sketch just because of the way I did the eyes. I love those types of eyes I did. And another reason I really like this sketch because like you see, I do a lot of line sketches and it's not like transferring onto the other paper. You guys will see that once I eventually do videos looking through my other sketchbooks. So that's something I really like about it. And that's why like this was one of my like favorite sketchbooks where I try to put like some of my better work Works. So many more colors. I did this piece, then this. I was experimenting a lot. I really wish I date all of my different sketches, but for the most part, they're in the same year. Right now, we're still in 2017, so that's high school for me. Um, you've become everything you ever hated. I I was doing this for like a design project, I believe. I remember I ended up coloring it digitally. I have this on my Instagram. I like how it turned out just because like I did the hands like decently for the first time in a long time that year. And then like some more like sketches of faces. I love, I love, love, love sketching faces. So speaking of that, I have my commissions open on my Kofi. So if you guys are interested, it's linked down below. And another one, I did I did a lot of graphic design in here. Like I did like this letter logo for an old friend at that time. And this dragon, I was really proud how I did the inking on it. I even did like the weighted lines so it looked really cool. So the objects that are closer to you, which was the heart, and then um, let me see, love a uh, heart. Oh, a heart is a sick thing. I don't know where I'd be getting all those edgy quotes from. This one was 2018, so this one was a year later. Who could understand it? I had some like Bible quotes there, but it got faded a little bit. And some more pieces. A lot of my coloring at that stage was like with watercolors because I didn't get any like markers yet. So again, I love like the texture of watercolor and looking back. A lot of these were like pen sketches, meaning like I started with just like a bulb point ink. And you can tell because like I put a lot of focus on the eyes. It's like this like same thing. I keep drawing the same face over and over, but uh, it's just a sketchbook. So I wasn't like stressing about it. Um, I did this, um, I regretted the way that I inked it and stuff because it started out as a, like a pen sketch but again I love the way I did the eyes. I need to do eyes like this again. They look like semi-realistic and they're big, like doll-like. They have like a lot of notes for like different projects and things. So I believe like these um, were animation like video ideas because I they still want well back then when i started my youtube channel i wanted to be an animation a uh, story time youtuber so i never got a chance to start those but i really love the way i did the hair for this but the way i did the shading and again those same eyes and it's the same three and a half quarter anime girls but hey i'm just gonna keep rolling with it another eye mm. This was around when I got my first markers. No, this isn't markers. These are watercolors. This is the Jerry Q swatches for my new watercolor. That's around when I started doing the concepts for like my logo, like, like that you guys see um, around my channel and stuff. For Carrie too, I really wanted like a cat TV branding. So this was like where I did a lot of like the different concepts and how to have my character interact with it. And I went to a high school where I like did web development and also graphic design. So I ended up doing a lot of logo concepts in my sketchbook. I, I don't remember if this was like for a freelance client that I got at that time. I was coming up with a bunch of different designs and typography. 
and another like sketch um i love this one was like a pen sketch i believe i love how i like colored it with like red and mm, the rest of it is like white i kind of i like sketches like that i did another one of these another quote a fragile heart i thought i was trying to make the heart look like a glass and i think i might just redo this because the pose just looks a little bit weird if you guys hear that in the background, that's my cat keeping me company while I show you guys this. These were another set of sketches that I did. Um, I remember I filmed a TikTok of me doing this and I drew the color scheme that I went with that because uh, I was trying to do something a little bit different. Um, this is like another sketch. I like the concept that I did there. I feel like I could have executed much better though. The hair looks a little bit weird. And then another like terrible sketch so my sketchbook has a bunch of unfinished sketch speaking about that another unfinished sketch it's like super light and this one i was like super proud of like this concept it's like i was trying again the like the glass heart type of thing and then like the anxiety monster and like dripping i i, I ended up coloring this digitally on my phone I did like a couple of TikToks on this, so I don't know if I ever posted those videos on my channel, but maybe I'll repost these one days. Um, more logo concept because I was in robotics in high school, so I was redesigning and I was taking, I used my sketchbook a lot to take notes. Uh, I was a big fan of this. I was just trying to, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there, but the colors are cool, I guess. I believe like over here, it's really hard to see another logo concept. More unfinished sketches and logo concepts that I was doing for an old friend at the time. And I like how this turned out. I like, I like the sketch. And more like cute sketches that I never finished. I gave it up on. And I remember doing this for like a TikTok. It was like late at night where you just do a bunch of like swatches and you start sketching them. I don't think I ever like finished it. So <laughs> this is the thing I may redo again in like my new sketchbook. I don't know if I should finish it on this page or not, but we'll see. And that's also another like local concept for my channel. Not just my channel, my brand, and essentially, I really like the cat TV head concept, and I wanted her to like be like a robot. Uh, I ended up like kind of scrapping that because I didn't know how to make it look cool. But these are like my concept art for her, and I was like, I even had notes like hover, there's like oh, wires at the top. Oh, this was inspired by like the lo-fi girl. <laughs> I was like s like listening to a lot of those like types of songs on YouTube when I was studying, especially for college. So I like the colors that I chose for this. I believe I did this in watercolors. Oh yeah, anxiety. I did this on, I recorded the process of me making this on a TikTok a while back. Um, I think that I would like to redo this. It didn't come out the way I wanted. It's supposed to be more dark than cute, but I, I struggle with drawing the hands. Look at this one. Ah, I die. But as you can see how well the sketchbook handles watercolor, it like, it buckles a little bit. It's like not the best, but back then, like this was to go another unfinished sketch. I have a lot of empty pages in between. Um, I was trying to do like some scenery paintings. Let me see, I think I have it upside down like this uh but it didn't go out so well <laughs> i need to practice like more like background paintings because that's really relaxing oh i did like the that challenge i showed you guys earlier from the tiktok i forgot what it was called but i i know i made a video of me doing this i think this came look like kind of cute it came out well another like tiny sketches more sketches it's hard to see because I believe that I colored on the next page. Yeah, 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 this was like heavy layering. This was done with watercolors, I believe. And 
this one was done with markers uh this is actually from one of my favorite like fighting games which is soul caliber she's one of the characters i play i forgot her name but i was so proud of this i believe that i also recorded a tiktok on this this was around the time when i was like really heavy into tiktok so now we're in like 2020 so several years have passed since like these posts i'm sorry i haven't been like reading the date um yeah so i'm already like in college by then and then i did like i believe this was like a photo study i also recorded the tiktok of me doing this with i believe i got like a my it wasn't a hoo hoo like some third party markers that i got on ebay and this was like watercolors this was of the girl from dragon maid um i really like the second season so i wanted to draw her i just never finished it so her eyes just looked dead i i believe it was because like my white gel pen just wasn't working that day i use this page to swatch my markers wait actually it's the other page the markers does bleed watercolors doesn't bleed yeah this this is it i had like the numbers bleeds to the other page another like it's really light but it's another face sketch oh i really love this sketch i can't believe i never finished it but it's, it was like a cat girl and like you guys can't see but like i had sketches of like cats that i just never finished i, I think this would be really cute with watercolors I might redraw this like digitally or in my other sketchbook um i did this with a marker i also recorded a tiktok of this um and i really enjoyed it it does it did bleed through <laughs> uh it's supposed to be sailor moon but i think i was referencing like a cosplayer so black sailor moon so i i really like how this like turned out uh i just didn't know how to like shade really well and layer with like markers but i think if i redo this i'll probably do better just oh the hands i especially like this i believe i did a, a TikTok, a lot of the drawings, not a lot, for the most part, some of the drawings I do in here, I do have the process of me doing it on my TikTok or my channel for some of them. Um, it's supposed to be my OC and then all the ghost Pokemon. <laughs> I love the colors I chose for this, it was really nice. And we have another Marco piece, I believe. Uh, I did these as YouTube videos for the BLM movement. I really like how I did the color, even the color, even though the hands were perfect, uh, I like how I did the concept for like this. And then this is again, BLM art that I did. I believe I have a video of that on my channel. Uh, that was 2020. Again, markers bleed. So we have another marker illustration of bna brand new animal um it was an anime that i saw on netflix i really enjoyed it uh this is like a, actually a background character but she's like a dolphin i really liked her design and her color scheme and this is one of the main characters so um, i recommend watching that anime it was really good um another like life sketch that i never finished <laughs> This was another unfinished sketch, but I ended up like trying it again. Um, I did this drawing. Inspiration was Full Metal Alchemist with like the hands kind of like pulling you, and it was like my OC. I really like how this turned out. I believe I have a TikTok of this. Like, uh, I, I I like how it like came out. I could have did it like much better, uh, but yeah, I did this with markers. And that was so no no that was december 2020 and then i did this like full body drawing of my oc using markers and i think i over like shaded on the face a little bit um but overall i like the colors and like the simple like style it's really cute and right there i was like concept for robots for robotics i believe since like i would uh, use the back of my sketchbook a lot so more local concept at this time it was like from like my discord group i really wanted um to be like similar to like my main logo so these are like some of the concepts that i've done for it i don't know if it works really well since it's really hard to see from far away but yeah so i started with that and then i uh, believe 
these pages are blank. Um, I gave my little brother my sketchbook one time and he did this. And yeah, another cool thing about the sketchbook is that I have pockets. I think I just had like old notes and watercolor swatches. swatches. This was like five years worth of art. And it was really nice looking through this with you guys. Let me know if you ever took this long to finish your sketchbook. Am I the only one in this boat? Do you ever come back to a sketchbook? Or were you like me that you started a sketchbook and you just abandoned? I think this was the most consistent I've ever been with a sketchbook. I think I have only one other sketchbook that I fully complete. But even then, this still has like three pages. Um, I've been wanting to show this sketchbook for a while, but I was like, oh man, I need to draw something cool in the last three pages. And I just like gave up. And let me also know if you guys are interested in seeing these other sketchbooks. I have so many sketchbooks from when I was in middle school and probably early on than that. This is just like a like a small sample of it because I, I, I used to love like medium sized sketchbooks. I still have like my big sketchbooks as well and some stuff I did during early college. So I'd love to hear your thoughts because I, I feel really embarrassed to upload this video but I didn't have a video ready this week but I thought that this would be a cool trip down memory lane and i also want to thank my ko-fi members the pixel pal gang you can join for one dollar and everyone counts and it goes a long way to supporting what i do and so that i can continue to make more videos like this on the channel so thank you so much again guys i'll catch you guys next time bye